In the last episode, uh, I made like a crazy leaner thing. The episode before that, I made a spider. The episode before that, I made a monster truck. And uh, I wanted to remake like the spider idea and add more legs in and try to get it to act differently. But then also give it the best characteristic of what a spider has. And that is the ability to climb objects. Now, this has more arms than what the last one did. I actually have uh, four on the sides and then two in the front and two in the back. And so we are, uh, we've got a lot more going on on this one. And really, it doesn't function any differently than what the other one did, except for a few different things. Uh, but I'll kind of show you, I've, I have restricted the movement in the front so that the front wheels don't bounce too much. And so when we go over something, you can see that it gets stopped by the wood right there. But if we hit like a, like, let's go up this right here. If we hit like something like that, um, it's a little bit more able, it's able to be controlled a little bit more. Now, if I do go over, let me see if I can find a good, like a good grouping of rocks here. The side wheels will bounce up a little bit more than what they used to. Um, but the cool thing is, is that since I have so many arms on this now that are pretty much going around the entirety of the thing, the only gap is like kind of in the front and the back, uh, between the front two and the back two. Um, that's like the only gap. And I could fill that in, you know, I, or I could have filled that in. But essentially now there's never not a, a leg touching the ground. And so it allows us to go up and over things a lot easier than before. And so you can see I can just get up and over everything now. Now the thing, the reason why I have the thrusters on here is because I wanted this thing to climb. Now I'm sure you guys have seen like wall climbers and stuff and it's really easy to do. All you need to do is uh, have a vehicle that can essentially get its wheels to spin and start going up the like up the skybox like or I should say up the invisible wall and then have thrusters that keep you pushed on now, then you can either propel yourself via the wheels or since I have so much going on on this thing I need to add some jet some thrusters in the back here to let me uh, be able to get up and so you can see the wheels start to climb and then I put the thrusters on and then the thrusters in the back are working and then we start climbing up the wall like a good spider would do and so it's not as fast as some of the other ones that we've seen but it definitely uh, it definitely works uh, I don't know why it's going to the side I think it has something to do with the fact that I'm trying to turn it and control it let me just let me just kind of reset here once you once you stop going though it gets it gets really weird let me reset it it's, it's definitely an interesting thing to try to do, that's for sure. All right, let's back this thing up. And I think everything's even, symmetrical, f except for like the, the main part of the body, but nothing is like leaning off one side or another. And so I don't know why it leans to the side. I think it has something to do with the placement and how it starts driving. Cause you can kind of, you can kind of see how the wheels kind of dip down on the sides there. There we go. So what if I don't push anything? Still drifts to the side. Is it my placement on the when I start getting on the wall? That could always be the case too. I think what we need to do to get this to be more effective is to maybe increase these thrusters on the uh, on the back here, or maybe we add thrusters on the sides. I don't know. Let's see if this helps. More than likely, it's going to make it uncontrollable. But man, we can probably make this thing even faster doing that. Let me. Okay, so let's try to climb the wall and see if that works. And then um, it doesn't turn too tight. It does when it gets going fast. All right, so get up the wall. There we go. And then thrusters. Oh, much better. So that, that greatly helped, just turning the thrusters up. It still turns to the side for some reason. But we're going now. Hopefully we can hit the skybox and then keep keep rolling. That would be cool. I've never done this before, so this is kind of the first time making something that can climb on the on the invisible wall. That's cool, man. And it's got so many freaking wheels. It's definitely definitely cool looking. 
had to get a screenshot while I was up here. All right, where's that skybox at? How high up is this thing? Let's hit it. Come on. Hit the skybox anytime now. I mean, it's a really, this is a really simple, really simple concept to, to achieve. Jeez, how high up is it? Or did I hit it already? Oh, did we just hit it? Yeah, we just hit it. Um, yeah, we are, we're no longer, we are no longer on the sky, <laughs> we're no longer on the skybox. I'm pretty sure we are just floating. <laughs> <laughs> we were just floating there. Come on, baby, land. Here, oh, look out for the trees. Propel yourself forward or something. The trees. Please don't get stuck in the tree. Oh, gosh. It would, it would be horrible. Okay, so let me see if I, uh... oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this thing's ridiculously fast now. Oh, that's a, that's freaking epic. Oh, this is actually really fun <laughs> to drive it like this. So I'll kind of show you, if you guys don't know uh, how I made this, uh, this has like independent kind of suspension here. You can see the arms like bouncing. Um, basically, what, what this is, how you do this is it's all based on engines. And so um, like putting engines, engine power to bearings, and then that kind of like allows it to raise and lower independently. And so what you want to do is you want to have it set up so that it's just the engine's power is just high enough to where um, the thing will. Is that on the lift? Did I put it on the lift? I did. So you can see how it dips down right there uh, because of the weight. But then if I increase this engine back up, you can see that it raises up. Okay, it didn't do it. it didn't do it yet. I think that's the right level but there we go you can kind of see how it raises up and so the way to do this it's very very easy um, I'll kind of just show you how to do it real fast if you didn't see the spider episode um, basically make your make your base you know whatever you want to put on whatever you're gonna put on uh, whatever you're gonna make it out of and then have your spots for your wheels and then put your bearings on and then it works best with these gray tubes to raise and lower and then we'll just kind of make something really simple here for, for quick demonstration purposes and then we'll put a bearing in our wheel and the weight of it, all of the arms and um, the wheels help it so it bounces up and down but it's got enough power going to it that it will stay like this without it moving um, but ideally what you want to do is you want to have it just low enough and I think that's it that it is barely uh, essentially it's still up off the ground but it's just barely up off the ground so if we do this right here that's because I'm standing on it you can see how it keeps the lowering down because of the weight and so that's not high enough so you need to turn it up one more so it's not Oh, it's still doing it. So I was right before. It is the fourth one from the. Okay, so so there we go. So um, then after you have this in place, put your engines down. Put your engine down that you want to. So I have one engine. Well, I have many, many, many things going on here. But I have one set of engines that are controlling the bearings that the arms are on. So you can see all these ones right here. And then I have one set of one set of engines that control the wheels and the power to the wheels. Um, and so you're going to need to have two engines put down to do this. So let's just do that. And then hook this up to here, like so. Make sure this is rotating the direction the arm is facing. And then, then power your wheels with that. So by default, this back is going to be hanging down here. But if we up this, which it shouldn't take much, there we go. You can see that it starts doing that. And that's, that's as simple as it is. But you want to have this bearing going a certain way, and then you want to have uh, something blocking this arm from moving. And so, um, you, it's, I mean, it's extremely easy to set up. And you can see how I have mine set up. I have all of these attached to... I'll just kind of show you here. 
So you can see that's touching that, that's touching that, that's touching that block. And then so just like you have it set up touching each individual block. And then from there, you just repeat the thing again uh, until you get what you want. And then just keep in mind, you do need to make sure you turn it. And so you need to have, you know, I use the gray tubes and then add a, a uh, rotating uh, a bearing for driving right there and I do that along all of them so that all of these wheels can turn together and it actually just works better so yeah uh, I just wanted to kind of share this with you because uh, I wanted to make a a wall climber and then try to make this even better okay so you see how that wheels bouncing when the wheels bounce like that that means that the engines not turned up high enough and so you got to turn it up a little bit more so if you have that bouncing thing when you when you make something like this um, can I get up over this? No, those wheels aren't even moving. Uh, when you make some, if you make something like this and those wheels are bouncing like that too much, that's when you need to turn that up some more. And so it's a lot. Oh, well, that's still doing it, but it's it's fine, I guess. Th did I re? I did not have it that high. I did not think. Maybe my wheels just always bounce like that. No, look at how it's dipping down back there. It's dipping too much because of this. Maybe I did have it turned up even more. I didn't think I did, but I didn't think it was that high. But now it's not gonna now it's not gonna do it as much. Oh, those the, you know what? Those arms are on the side ones, on the side engines. Never mind. I had it right. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Just wanted to show you. Uh, just kind of made a different design and added in the wall climbing thing because uh i mean it's a spider it's like that's what the spider should have been doing the first time um and then i added on some more more arms and stuff just to make it climb up uh rocks and stuff way easier than what it was before so yeah guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this episode if you didn't click that thumbs up button below feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel freaking tree and i'll see you guys in the next one. Oh no i'm stuck